What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Today we are going to be checking out a brand new province. It's actually uh, what we're flying over right now. Is that a golf course? It's got like a couple of sand trap looking things. I don't see any holes or anything though. This looks uh, this looks like a, a pretty high class area. Anyway, so in our last episode we talked about how we were gonna go up to Tobacco for our next one. So if you zoom out here, we were kind of working on this little underboss right here, La Gringa. This guy is in Tobacco. That's where he's located. But I think what we should do, rather than work our way around the rings, because honestly, even though technically you only need to take out two underbosses to be able to get to El Sueño, I think we're gonna take out all of them before we get there. There's a difference in the ending, there's a good and a bad ending, and I just wanna take everything out because I like the game, so I'd like to be able to play more of it. So I don't wanna rush to the end. So I think rather than doing that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda go by difficulty. I feel like that makes the most sense because as we progress and get better guns and better skills and stuff like that, the territories are gonna get harder. So for right now, I think we should take in Pien de Agua Verde, because this one has two skulls as a difficulty, and then from there we can do like Tobacco and Barvechos and Pucara and stuff like that. So I feel like we should kind of move up in difficulty, and we're gonna end up taking out all these provinces in due time. So. Looks like a hell of a resort. A cartel owned resort. Let's go scare off some rich folk, fuck with the cartel's tourism, and get Carcita's ass back to Agua Verde. Nice. Sounds good to me, so it looks like that could be an opportunity. I'm just trying to fly through and check all of our options in terms of missions here, so we're gonna bang a left. This is a big little, a big little province. It's a big, big province. Lots of little islands and such. There's another little area. Heavily enforced by the enemy. Keep going this way. Like maybe farming. Oh no. I think this is gonna be a Sam turret. Yep. I think we're good. I think we should be okay. Alright, let's head over towards the mountains over here. Let's see if there's anything else we can find. Another giant house over there. Resort looking thing. Still gonna get shot at by this surface to air missile. I feel like we're really far away from that island. Narrowly avoided that bad boy. Alright, so I think that pretty much most of this area has been explored at this point. Go this way a little bit more. I'm seeing all these question marks. Do we have to get close to the question marks to be able to reveal them, or? I'm not really sure how to open up a new area. Every time that we've gone to a new area so far in this game, it's always like, it's always been a part of a mission. They're like, oh, go check this out. There's this yellow briefcase you have to go look for and stuff. But now we're kind of on our own. We've got a question mark area over here. Set our objective on it. Let's see if we get close enough if it's going to do anything. Just an enemy outpost. It might have some intel for us, though. I say we check it out. Weapons free, weapons free. Not gonna be able to get a grenade up there far enough. It's alright. Get a grenade right there though. Woo! We're in, baby. Gonna take these guys out behind us first. They've got MGs facing every which direction. Holy cow, okay. Um, should we throw the drone up? Try to get some intel? No. Man down. 
He's down. Whew, we almost died right there. Okay, those guys are out of that tower. I'm gonna throw the drone up. We could revive our teammate right here. That might Just be helpful. Just stay down. I'll be right there. Kingslayer file. Nice. That's exactly what we're gonna need. Thanks, man. All right. I think we're good. Frag out. Good luck with that frag, boys. That's a kill. Got him as Got him as well. All right, let's pick up this Kingslayer file and see what we have going on. Bowman, we just arrived in Agua Verde. Welcome to Narco Paradise. Agua Verde used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into a place to wine and dine VIPs. Run by this narco junior called Carzida. He brings politicians, judges, and CEOs there for relaxation and cartel-sponsored debauchery. What's the plan? We need to know who Sueño's making deals with. Carzita must have a guest list somewhere. You get him, you get the names. Understood. We're on it. Javier Coronel Bayardo. Which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Carzita. He's a meppy, a Mexican preppy, or a prepsican if you prefer. <laughs> his main achievement in life was to win the sperm lottery. Gonzalo Coronel Bayardo, telecom billionaire, is his daddy. Gave Sunny everything. Money, cars, education, BA from Harvard, MBA Wharton Business, D Phil from Oxford to acquire a little sophistication and some good English clothes. Now he gets his own resort to run. This used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into an exclusive resort. It's here that Carzita does what Carzita does best, making connections between Santa Blanca and anyone that's anyone. CEOs, politicians, judges, socialites, even celebrities. You know who that is, right? Hint. She just went to rehab for saying something racist. <laughs> what Carzita offers the cartel is more than just business deals. It's a level of corruption we've never seen before. And it's on you to stop it. We cut the connections, we stop the corruption. Carzita! Ah, gonna be taken out. Looks like the man lives a pretty good life though, I'm not gonna lie. Runs a resort, women, money, cars. I mean, I he's doing it, it right. Lying. I can't blame him. Anyway, let's see, what should we do next? We have two different mission options. One is to a lavish casino. Raid the casino and destroy his machines. That'd be pretty cool. Or raid the resort and cause as much chaos as possible without harming the guests. Both of those sound pretty fun. Let's just start with this one. Time we put Carzita's resort out of business. Give it the full rock star treatment. Just don't hurt any All right, guests. I'm in. All right. Well, I'm not sure who put that tree there, but I was not intending to run into it. We saw this, uh, this resort when we were flying over it earlier in the episode, so we're gonna head back that way 5.5 kilometers. It's about to go down. Oh gosh. Oh, we flew right over this island. This is part of the cartel's influence operation. The propaganda machine. We should familiarize ourselves with their MO. The man at the top is El Cartel, an excommunicated priest turned Santa Muerta proponent. He's also supposed to be the spiritual advisor to El Sueño. Other guy in the mix is Ramon Feliz. Oh. He's a legit journalist till he inexplicably started blogging for the cartel. He's a blogger? Uh-oh. All priests like to hear themselves talk, don't they? But as the saying goes, talk is cheap. El Cardenal knew this was true. His people were barely surviving, and he wanted to do something. He had to help those in need. He didn't care where the support came from. But there were others who thought he was making deals with the devil. He was cast out. He lost his family, his friends. Lo perdió todo. When I found him, he was a broken man. I brought him into Santa Blanca to preach the truth of the new faith. For we are wed to death from the moment we are born, and we must come to love her more than we love our lives. Sacred and blessed death, the goddess of darkness can free you from sickness and evil. Do you offer your heart and soul over to her? He baptized me in the true faith. He is my counselor, my conscience. I do. The only person I truly trust with my soul. So 
Sueño's been baptized to the goddess of death. That's, uh... That's some serious stuff. Anyway, here we go, guys. We made it back to the resort in one piece. Got shot out a few times, but... We're okay. But, uh, they want us in the parking lot, so let's... Let's go ahead and hop out and head to the parking lot. It works for me. Try to make as little noise as possible coming in. Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area. Hey, we got an arc with the subject. Please I don't know what is. We're shooting everything just to scare off the VIPs and get Carcita back here. So it won't earn you the Medal of Honor. Just don't shoot any civilians. Well, in that case, I think it's time to go live. Let's take the, the suppressor here. off. Nothing like a little gunplay to scare off the public. And start going ham. Amen to that. Hold this position. Give the VIPs a good show. Where are these bad guys at? Is there one on this corner? Oh. Get cover already. We're weak. Oh gosh. We blew up that truck right next to our boys. They'd already taken those guys out. Alright, we're gonna go. This is this is alright. We can deal with this. So we need to stay alive and defend this position for two minutes. We can do that, we're in good shape. Shit balls. Shit balls. Dude, what we need is a, uh, I need a loadout machine because I spent some skill points yesterday and uh, we've got some good stuff I want to use. Oh, they drove out of range of that grenade. Frag out. Enjoy Get that some. one, boys. <laughs> Woo! Dude, this is getting super hot. I think I see an ammo cache in here. Is it up top, maybe? Yes, 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 yes. All right, watch this, boys. Here we go. Pick up ammo, and we're gonna change our loadout real quick. Oh, man, so this is a skill point I spent. One of our best skill points ever. We're gonna go ahead and edit our P416 assault rifle, parts, under barrel, an STD grenade launcher. We're gonna be giving people STDs, baby. Here we go. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and rock with that. Go ahead and equip it. Looks good to me. So how do we how do we use a grenade launch? Um, down. Oh, okay, that's pretty awesome. Dude, that was sick. Tell me we can take out choppers with this thing, too. Now, how do we switch it away from it, though? That's the problem. Remove under barrel. Okay. Nice. So that's not too hard. All right. We're going to try to hit this chopper. I don't know how good we're going to be at... I'm going to hope that this thing ends up staying still. Oh, no. We have another car coming in. Chopper or car, what's coming first? I don't know what like the... I don't know what the, the trajectory we need to take and stuff like that is. What the heck? How did that guy get there? We killed everybody around us and then all of a sudden he spawned in the, the parking lot. Okay, we're just, we're gonna get healed up. It's all right. You get one, one refresh every time. Oh, we left the mission area? Stop it, stop it, stop it. Thanks. Mission complete. Let's go. Somehow we clutched up right there. Don't want to kill enough damage here. because he doesn't resort. I think the rest of these guests are gonna check out. Bunch of dudes shooting off guns tends to have that effect. Dude, could you imagine being on vacation and then all of a sudden there's a huge firefight in the parking lot of grenade launchers and weapons and all sorts of stuff? This thing doesn't very consistently blow cars up, though. It takes, like, a couple shots. We might have to get a, a more powerful one. It's still pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, I think it's time for us to get the heck out of here. 
the guy over to our right. Dude, we're about to die right now. Alright, that guy's down. Okay. Do we have a chopper escape? There was one over here to the left, right? Yeah. Nice. Alright, we're gonna get the heck out of here. That was a that was a good little mission. That was fun. Now it's time to head over to the casino. I feel like that one's gonna be even crazier. Just go in and go ham, just destroy everything, all the slot machines, money's gonna be flying everywhere, it's gonna be pretty cool. We need to send a message that Carzita's resort sure are a lot isn't of the safe haven the cartel here. claims it to be. Hit the casino, tear the place up, and frighten the customers. I want them on the next plane out of Bolivia. All right, let's do it, fellas, here we go. Okay, Tore up a resort, now it's time to tear up a casino. All right, guys, here we are. We made it to the casino. I say we try to be stealthy about this one. To position. We're going to do a sink the shot target. on these guys. Going hot. Tango down. Yo, down. cartel gunman. Okay. There, at the checkpoint. Right. Can somebody get on him? No. I guess we'll take this guy out. He's down. Marking so target. Guys Watch up the top. Way. Let's go ahead and put the drone up near. Why not? Figure out what we have going on. Oh, there's a guy all the way up top. He's close to some locals. Wow, this is pretty insane. What about around back? Going in from up top might not be a bad play, you know what I mean? Like, we could just get in there really silently. Take out that guy up top, sneak in the back door, nobody would know what hit him. He's hit back, that tango might spot you. Let's try going in the back door back here, boys. Marking target. Watch the background. Check your targets. We got civilians all over the place. The civvies are freaking out about that one. That dude's just... His head just exploded right in front of him. Tango There's no way you're that oblivious, bro. I refuse to believe that you're that oblivious. He's down. Shoot. I just don't know the play from here. We have a lot of guys on the inside that we. I. Ah, oh man. It's gonna be tough to take them all out at once. I just don't want him to call in backup. Target down. Okay, so it could be worse. We might be able to set up a sink shot from here. I don't even see where these guys are at. Marking a hostile. It's close to some locals. What's our way to approach this, man? I seriously have no clue. It's super hot right in this area. But we don't have any intel as to where they are. Got another tango. So that's two guys. There's one more somewhere. Oh, one back here in the back. Okay. So if that's it, that's not so bad. Drop it in, baby. Now there's two left. 
is history. Last one. Entire casino's ours. Okay. So now we just need to break machines and tables, right? Dude, all the coins and chips are just coming out. That's awesome. We got company station. We've got company, what do you mean? The guests better not be telling on us. There's nobody else to call in back up. These things actually take a little bit to uh to take out. Dude, I would be happy if I was a guest here. I'd just be running around cleaning up all the chips. I'd be like, thanks bros, you guys are, are really really helping out here. There's gotta be a more efficient way of doing this. In fact, I think I know what it is. Just wondering what that that Watch arrow was for. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. It's also a much more efficient way of killing pedestrians and civilians. No scope, baby. All right, we're at 26 out of 42. Press L1. Press L1 to play C4. Demo is primed and in place. Then press and hold it to blow it. What you doing, killing a civilian? That ain't the Sorry, bro. Shithead. My fault. Demo's primed. Dude, C4 has an enormous explosive range. I have not seen anything like that. All right, we're at 39 out of 42. We're feeling pretty good. I need some ammo though. Ooh, what is this? Skill this points. Class A uniform. We got three skill points out of that. That's that's pretty solid. Right, we're gonna take this. Oh, we have machines on the back side here. So we're gonna blow that one. Blow this one, and then there's one more back in this back room. VIPs are bugged out. Building is wrecked. The Sapper Daddy's pleased with our offering. Ha <laughs> ha! sure as hell should get Karzita's attention. Now, we rolling bones, or did the table get blown to shit? All right. Casino's down. Let's move on to our next mission. Gonna be riding it in style, baby. Here we go. Got the Lambo. This one's in the center. First one was yellow. This one's the silver. I kind of like the uh, the gun middle silver here. Looks pretty good. Must have been a high roller in that casino. But uh, anyway, here we go, fellas. Just a few hundred meters away from our next objective. We're going through what appears to be some sort of an enemy checkpoint. Somehow slipped in 100% unnoticed. Do we have our silencer on? We do. Hostile down. Tango's going for the noisemaker. I've got eyes on the captain. Hold the hornet's nest. We're hunted right now, but they don't know where we are. We're all right. Maybe they do know where we are. We just gotta get in and get that briefcase. It's our only objective here. You guys up here? I was hoping to climb that up out of that second building. I'll let you out, no worries, bros. I can't tell where you're getting shot from, dude. What the heck? All right. Let's go ahead and hack this. We are going to locate uh, equipment cases. Let's get some more intel. It's good stuff. Got all the ones for the region. And now we need to get our briefcase to get our next assignment. We need to get some intel here. Is this... Oh, it's right here. Took a picture of a map. We got a 20 in Carzita's assistant. Bowman thinks taking him out will help draw Carzita back. Let's move. All right. Well, that's good stuff. We'll mark these uh, pieces of equipment for the rebels. 
and then we are gonna go ahead and dip on out of here. Got the intel we need. There's no sense in sticking around. Go ahead and take this car. And we're gonna see what our next mission is. Where's our map at? Looks like we are gonna be going over here. Karzita's the cartel's front man, but it's his assistant that keeps the resort running. Take him out, and we'll force Karzita's hand. All right, so we're gonna be taking down Karzita's assistant. We can do that. Thing is, it's quite a long ways, so we are gonna have to find a helicopter somewhere. I don't see one in the area. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. You can chill, bro. We're gonna outrun them, no worries. I mean, I guess we could go the whole way in this, oh gosh. Why are you attacking that? Are you kidding me? Dude, just open up fire on an armored vehicle. When we're in a Lamborghini and there's just two of us. I don't even know where we're going. Are we, are we kind of heading in the right direction? No, not really. I was hoping there was gonna be a chopper over here or somewhere. We've got to find one. Most notably in the province of Lacos. No way there's not a chopper in here. Oh yeah, there is. All the way back at the back. Holy cow. Get the heck out of there. Woo! Dude, there's no way this is gonna work right now. There's no way that this is gonna work. We just ran right in the enemy. Do you notice how their gates opened up for us? It's because we were in an enemy car. So if you steal enemy vehicles and you try to go to their bases, the, the gates will open up for you because obviously they can't really tell who's in the vehicle. They kind of assume it's a good guy for them. But uh, that was pretty cool. All right. So, a bit of an adventure there. Try to get to our location, but we're going to be okay. There's that stupid island that keeps shooting missiles at us. I kind of want to go over there and shut that thing down, to be honest. Now we have our objective, to locate Carzita's assistant while remaining undetected, and this is that crazy compound. Dude, we saw a lot of what we were gonna do today when we were scoping around the entire region. That's pretty cool. I like that we got a little, little preview of everything. Let's move this thing forward just a little bit. Does this system have any identifying characteristics? Nothing we're 100% on. You should have a few listening devices in your loadout. Try bugging some of the areas where a lot of the VIPs hang out. One of them could give us the assistant's location. I'll call you when we hear something. And remember, the bugs won't be worth shit if they spot you. Phew. The drone is up. Stay All right. Inside, people. Plant the bugs and diddy mal. Don't even cast a shadow. Hey, a Santa Blanca LT. By the building entrance. Here's target number five. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Well, we tagged everybody. So if they say that we have to remain undetected, does that mean we can't kill people? I would assume that's what that means. Got it, moving. Going on. Copy. Target marked. What are the odds that there's an Unidad patrol on the street right in front of the mission that we're doing? Stay out of sight, people. Plant the bugs and diddy mal. Don't even cast a shadow. All right, guys. So let's hope that a, uh, a Unidad patrol doesn't go by this time. I'm assuming that if we have to be completely silent about it, we're not going to be able to kill any of these guys, which makes this infinitely more difficult. I don't know. I, I'm a, like, obviously, if we killed somebody, they would, they would know somebody was there. So I, I think we have to be stealthy about it. In there. We're gonna put a bug in a vase. <laughs> it's a pretty good spot. One over here near the kitchen. Behind the painting. Nobody's gonna find that either. And the last one is gonna be up near the front of the house. Oh, dude, this is sketch. We're good. Under his bed. 
Might hear some stuff we don't want to hear. We should pick up enough dirt for Bowman to get the location on Karzita's assistant. Let's make like a tree and get the fuck out. <laughs> I've never heard that expression before, but it works for me. I think if we leave the same way we came in, we should be all right. Dude, this was pretty intense. No trace, no nothing, baby. We are all gravy in the Navy. I kind of want to run right now, but I feel like that's going to give us away. So I'm just going to slowly crouch walk back to our teammates. And hope that everything worked out. We're good. Let's not cause any issues. Let's just get out of the area. Get a mission complete. He's gonna steal that truck, but it's not gonna fit all four of us. Carzita's assistant is as popular as a JV cheerleader on the pill. The bugs picked up a guest mentioning where he is. I'm sending you the location now. Tango Mike. Don't waste any time with this guy. Just kill him and be done with it. Roger that. No matter. All right. Well, I wish we still had our chopper over on the beach, but unfortunately, they had other plans for us. With that uh, Unidad vehicle. Oh well. Sorry about this, brother, but I gotta have the car all right. out. Let's go. I actually see a boat down there. Boat's probably gonna be our quickest method of transportation. To the market, chiefs. That works for me. We're gonna head over to this boat, go across the bay, and go kill his assistant. All right, fellas, we made it to the island. We're sneaking in right here. We've got a couple of guards near these boats. So we're gonna take these guys out. And then make our way into our objective. Spotted one with submachine guns. Okay, they're down. Okay, we're still all right. Our objective is to locate the assistant and then we're gonna take him out, obviously. Their guy's close right here. Deploying drone. Up. Two guys. See second target. And baby makes three. So he could be anywhere in this big area. I hear people talking. It's a drunk guy somewhere. Won't stop singing. I feel like this compound right here. Oh, there's a weapons case. Watch the background. I feel like this compound is heavily guarded. I got eyes on Carzita's assistant. Oh. Okay, he's in there. That's a kill. Get back before they make it. Marking target. Watch the background. In position. Target's marked. Just say the word. Roger. Target acquired. Eyes on the target. Opening fire on these fuckers. We don't want to open fire. We want to just take it easy here. Settle down, guys. Jeez. It's like, open and fire! No, we don't want to do that yet. There's his assistant. I kind of want to get in there, though, because there's that weapons case. What's in the weapons case? Do we know? Compact full auto Russian rifle. An SR3M. I don't think we're gonna use it, but I want it anyway. Target down. Their lieutenant's running away. Shoot. Got him. I see again. The assistant is down. Won't be long. Wait. We're good. We're good. We're good. Wait. Where's this? The weapons case. Let's grab the weapon and get the heck out of here. There's a chopper over to the right. We gotta bounce, dudes. Dude, that was just, that was bad timing. I was looking around, trying to look at the weapons case and stuff, and then all of a sudden, two guys are coming around the corner. Nope. Nope. We're dipping. That's a kill. All right, they're dead. We're gonna go. Fire, We're out of here. Fire. All right, that was a fantastic episode. Discovered a new... 
new province, took out his assistant. We're very close to Karzita now, just a couple of missions left to go. So uh, we're going to make our way towards a briefcase, and I'm going to see you guys in our next episode with our next mission. See you guys there.